Hi, this is Kanna Babu. This is part 4 of Ajax video. In this video, we will discuss about filter text box extender and password strength control in Ajax. First of all, we need to discuss about filter text box. Filter text box is an extender which prevents a user from entering the invalid characters into a text box. Actually, this control will be extending from the functionality of the text box, which means whenever uh, it is used to check whether the data that we enter within the text box is valid data or invalid data. It will accept only valid data. Is it clear? Let us see here. So here I will go to the new project. Select web ASP.NET empty web application. Here I will go to the solution explorer or go to the project, add new item, select web form. So here my requirement is enter only lowercase characters in text box 1, enter only uppercase characters in text box 2, enter only numbers in text box 3. So now I want to apply what filter text box control. So select the text box 1. First of all, whenever you are working with Ajax, the first control that we have to use is script manager. So I will try to drag and drop script manager from my toolbox. Now I will try to apply filter text box extender. So select the text box one, add extender, select filtered text box extender, click on OK. So I applied filter text box extender for uh, text box one. So go to the source code, then automatically the code is generated. And here you can see target control ID is text box one, because I applied filter text box extender to text box one. And similarly here you have the properties, there are a lot of properties are there for filter text box. Here you can find a property called filter type. Actually this uh, property is used to apply uh, the text boxes uh, type, the type of the text box that you want to display. Like you want to accept only numbers or lowercase characters or uppercase characters. So filter type is equals to what? Lowercase characters. So it will accept only lowercase characters. Is it clear? And you are having what? Um, here you see, I will try to what debug and check the output. So text box 1 will accept only lowercase characters. So here text box 1 will accept only lowercase characters. If I enter any uppercase also, it is not allowing you to enter. Here I am entering actually, but still it is not allowing. Right? Similarly, I want to apply text box 2 must accept only uppercase characters. So select here filter text box extender, click on OK. And for text box 3 also, I want to apply add extender. And here also I will try to apply what filter text box extender, OK. Go to the source code. And here if you observe, I have filter text box extender 2. Here I will give the property filter type is equals to uppercase characters. It will accept only what? Uppercase letters. And here for the filter text box 3, here I will mention the filter type. Filter type is equals to, I will enter what? Numbers. So it will accept only numbers. So here your work has become very easy. Is it clear? And here my requirement is, this numbers, text box 3 must accept numbers and hyphen also. Because whenever you consider what landline number, we will give hyphen, something like 0, 40 hyphen some number you will give so the text box must accept what numbers along with what hyphen are you following i want to allow some extra character within this text box 3 generally if i try to enter some numbers hyphen is not working it, it will accept only numbers so in that case what i have to do means here i'll go to the source code and here I will make the filter type is equals to custom. Custom means what? Uh, if you want to customize the filter text box control, we will set the filter type property as what? Custom. And here you can have one more property that is filter mode. Filter mode is equals to valid cares. So here we need to mention what? The uh, characters which are valid that has to accept. And here I will try to uh, have one more property valid cares is equals to here you have to mention what the characters that must be accepted by filter text box 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 hyphen 
it has to accept hyphen also apart from numbers so here debug and check the output so here my number center only numbers means phone number phone number must accept only what numbers and it we are uh, allowing what uh, hyphen also for example if i give something like 040 hyphen some number i'll give it is allowing like that if you want to customize the filter text box control we can customize depending on our requirement i hope you understood right the next control we are working is password strength control the next control you're working with password strength control so your password strength is an asp.net ajax extender control that can be attached to the text box control is it clear and this control will calculate the strength of the password which is entered by the user within the text box let us see how to work with password strength control so here i'll go to the toolbox i'll try to drag and drop one text box control all extender controls we cannot directly work we have to take the support of what text box control and here i will try to write enter password is it clear here you can give bold and here i have one text box control is it clear for this one initially i will try to drag and drop one script manager so here i will try to drag and drop script manager and here select the text box control ellipse button here add extender that uh, i will try to uh, select password strength click on ok and here we can set some properties for the password strength like uh, here you can have the target control id is text box one here i will use minimum lowercase characters i'll give as two and at least you have to enter two lowercase characters and minimum minimum numeric characters i'll give three is it clear and here i'll mention minimum symbol characters i'll give uh, one at least one symbol must be there two lowercase characters must be there three numbers must be there and minimum uppercase characters i'll give as two minimum two uppercase characters must be there and preference password length there is one more property the maximum number of characters that we can uh, that uh, the password can allow is i'll give as seven if you enter more than seven it must not display and prefix text there is one more property at the time of displaying the error message it will display whatever the text you mention here along with the text it will concatenate with the original text are you following so here i will write something like password strength is or password strength is so and so and here i will write one more property text strength description there is one more property text strength descriptions here you can mention what what you want to display something like i want to display poor if you want to display poor password or average password or good password or semicolon you have to mention here or very good password or very good password or excellent password is it clear so now let us see here how it is working now i'll try to execute this one and check the output so um, what are the properties we mentioned here for the password strength here you go to the source code here you can see what i mentioned is minimum lowercase characters two minimum numbers two three minimum symbols one minimum uppercase two otherwise i'll make all as two so that will not confuse minimum lowercase two numeric characters two symbol characters two minimum uppercase two two four six eight password length i'll give as nine now once press f5 lower case upper case symbols and numbers all we have to give then it will display the strength of the password lower case i'll give two lower case characters and i'll give one upper two upper case characters and i'll give two numbers and i'll give two special characters is it clear and one two three four five six seven eight i'll give one more number is it clear so it has satisfied all the requirement if you are if you are not giving anything see it is showing only lower case means poor lower case and upper upper case means average and we satisfied two uh, properties 
लोअर केस अपर केस एंड नंबर्स मींस गुड लोअर केस अपर केस नंबर्स एंड स्पेशल कैरेक्टर्स मींस एक्सेलेंट आर यू फॉलोइंग एंड इफ द पासवर्ड लेंथ इज व्हाट अम नॉट 9 इट विल डिस्प्ले if if you satisfy all these requirements all these properties then your password strength is what excellent i hope you understood that is how you can work with password strength control so in this video we discuss about filter text box control and password strength control in the next video we'll discuss about some other controls for more videos you can subscribe to my youtube channel and facebook group thank you have a nice day